Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold on Keveloko. Last time, we spent a lot of time in Johto trying to catch Entei and Raikou, and we finally caught them, thank God. In this episode, we are going to find Suicune. Suicune, is, uh, as you remember, is not in Johto, but instead is in Kanto. You remember what you seen said about uh, Suicune likes hilly places. Somewhere up north. Cerulean City, well, specifically Route 25, is as high north as you're going to find in the Kanto region. And there's a, and there is a cape. So there it is. <sighs> I am no match for you, as I predicted. Go ahead, since I met you in the Burn Tower in Ecrotique City. I've sort of known that Sui Kun would choose you. Take a look, Sui Kun is waiting for you. It's been waiting for a battle with a worthy trainer to who it couldn't trust itself. And, of course. Okay, I don't care about your hoo hoo. Now remember to save during um, boss fights. This is Suicune, the final legendary beast. Suicune is very defensive. And it gives a uh, bulky water its entire meaning. Unlike the other legendary beasts, this one will stay and bite you. Like, uh, Suicune is an excellent user of Calm Mind, which it's uh, uh, it's deadly when it gets that off. So, why am I switching to Rubik's? I actually taught Rubik's something. I taught Rubik's false swipe. A uh, false swipe is a move that will actually uh, leave opponents with 1 HP always. So with False Wipe, I don't have to worry about knocking it out. Alright, one more. And it was a critical hit too. And it's still at 1 HP. Alright, uh, let's use a fastball. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Uh -huh. Alright, uh, let's use a lure ball since it's a water type. One. Like, I got these special Pokemon, uh, special Pokeballs for these legendary Pokemon. So, let's have some fun. Okay, let's try... Let's try a level ball. One. Alright, well, that's not working at the moment. Alright, let's try a friend ball. Maybe it wants to be my friend. Maybe. Yeah. Alright. Good thing Rubik's is very defensive. And I do no, I do not think that uh 
Suicune has a water type move. I think it has Aurora Beam, but I'm not entirely sure about that. And luckily, I got a bunch of Ultra Balls, too. You know what? Just to entertain myself, let's throw a Pokeball. Yeah. I mean, it can't be a Pokemon Let's Play without trying to catch a, po a Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon in a Pokeball. At least once. I don't know, stupider things has happened. Alright, uh. Let's try a Great Ball. Uh, the Love Ball's useless since, uh, legendary Pokemon are genderless. And it's not nighttime, so I can't use, uh, Dust Balls. Alright, let's throw a Premier Ball. It is the premier legendary beast. Yeah. Wait, I love uh, Suicune's just how it looks. It is an incredible Pokemon to look at. Fun? Nope. Like I said, Suicune is very defensive. Uh, I want to say that uh, Suicune is one Pokemon that, uh, one legendary Pokemon that could, uh, of the legendary base that could use Recover. Or I might be imagining, or. I can't think right now. Like, I just can't stop staring at Suicune. It's an incredible Pokemon to look at. One. Well, good thing, uh, good thing we're here for a while. However, the only thing that will scare me if it runs out of power points, because once it does that, it's gonna struggle itself to death. Two, three, mm, so close. I had uh, another little ball. There it is. And that's, uh, uh, that's Suicune being 40, or not 40, um, 25 levels lower, well, 24, but close enough. Fairly powerful. One, two, three. Uh, so far, um, the Ultra Ball has been my best bet. But let's use a Heavy Ball, just to be funny. Yeah, I don't think so. Can is that heavy? All right, Pokeball. One. Like, if I actually catch this in a Pokeball, I am gonna laugh my ass off. All right. One. Part of me really wants to try this now. 
Thank you, Rubix. You did your job. Alright, Claire. You're my tank. So let's get tanking. Alright, Pokeball. Mist wore off. Ultra Ball. One. Good thing we got a lot of Pokeballs. Well, different types of Pokeballs. Uh, yeah, I probably overstacked for all of this, but... Knowing my luck, it was necessary. One. I believe uh, Aurora Beam has a lot of power points. One. It's going to use Mist. I believe a uh, Mist actually uh, prevents, like, status loss. Or, not status loss, uh, or stat loss. Or, uh, yeah. I believe that's correct. I believe it's, like, guard spec. Alright, 12 minutes in. Still haven't caught this thing. Alright. One. Two. Three. Got it. And we finally got all of the Legendary Beast. And I forgot to read its um, Pokedex ent uh, entry. Kevin, you two are truly amazing. I have never seen a battle this intense. I have no regrets. Farewell, Suicune. Farewell, Kevin. He's salty. Ooh, National Pokedex. Uh, hold up. Yeah, let's just go to the, uh, Johto Pokedex. Alright, Suicune so is the Aurora Pokemon. Said to be the embodiment of north winds, it can uh, it can instantly purify fi uh, filthy, murky water. Well, I could definitely use that um <laughs> for the pool outside. <laughs> yeah, that would uh, that would have saved some time. Anyway. All right, it's time to head back. All right. All right, let's see what type of Suicune is it. But first, time to heal. Alright. A serious nature. Yeah, a neutral nature. It's a jack of all trades.
But yeah, we finally caught all three legendary beasts. We've caught Lugia and Holo and Latias. But I believe there is one place we haven't even checked out yet. And hey, that cave is open. So that's going to be our next stop. Next time, we will enter Cerulean Cave and see what we find. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.